Hello everyone, welcome to Zencast, where we talk about Beyblade topics. For this topic for the Zencast, we'll be talking about the Rare Bay Get Battle. The Beyblade gotcha that it's not fun to win <laughs> one Rare Bay or another Rare Bay that's extremely hard to get. And for the discussion, we have our co-host Nizuma here. Uh, hey, what's up, bro? Thanks for having me again. Alrighty, so to kind of go over how this basically works, uh, I should have grabbed the battle pass before we started. Okay, well, uh, there's the battle pass, and basically how this works. Well, you don't need the battle pass, but it does help contribute, because the battle pass, basically what happens, it's like when you scan it, you get like a passive amount of like 100 points per scan, right? Uh, yeah. Something yeah. like that. And the whole app, right, all the features are shit, but they mask that because the whole purpose is Beyblade gotcha. And not even the good type of gotcha, where at least you there there is some consistency in animation or, or anything. Any, any shit flies. And with Rare Bay Get Battle, you can get, well, now there's technically three, but we'll, we'll get into that. So kind of, to give some backstory on the Rare Bay, they started this in, they started this kind of format and burst with Amaterios and Baldor, and that was just kind of on site. It just being on the app is just slightly moving the, the platform, but what do you think of Rare Bay so far? Um, <laughs> so... I like I like this app more than the burst app, for sure. Uh, so yeah. like while I don't think the like the the in game like battle thing is like super great, I do like that they added more to the app. I feel like than burst in terms of like yeah what like functionality you can actually do something with it. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't I don't hate the app. I do hate the rates at yes. like the pull rates is uh, like like compared to the amount of money that you have to spend to like actually mm -hmm. win anything I, I i think the rates are bad like really really bad yeah and i know i think it's well because the same thing doesn't fall near the same thing because it there's no technical in-game currency I think it was Europe, I recall, that banned, like, kind of, like, gotcha stuff, because it, it is essentially just gambling, right? Like, you're yeah. trying to spend in-game currency, try to get whatever anime girl or whatever, or guy, <laughs> and, and trying to summon for them. Yeah, I think I think Beyblade can get... I don't, they might be able to get around it, because you don't have to spend money to get yeah. the, the points per se. Like, there's no in-game transactions or in-app yeah. transactions. So that's where they so, get the leeway. Yeah, yeah. I just get really pissed off, because, like, I, for an example, I think something like Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball thing, they'll tell you, like, the, the pull rate to pull to get an LR unit is 0 0.0015, to get an SR, blah, 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 SSR, whatever. I wish it was like the the rates to get a gold Hell Scythe is 30%, gold Leon, 30%, and maybe like Cobalt Drake, 5%. That's what it feels God, like. I would, I would be real happy if it was 5%. Uh, I am tracking at under 1%. 1% win rate. So... Uh, how the app basically works, it's that kind of similar if you played any gotcha stuff where it's like you have to summon to get something. They basically have it where they play this Beyblade animation and how it works is at the start you have to hit a button. I can probably just demonstrate. Watch me win something actually. We're gonna we're gonna try to demonstrate. <laughs> wait, we'll should see. we let's wait, let's do it together. Hold on. Oh okay, Hold wait, on. okay. Well this is the first time I'm doing it now. We're gonna see. Hold on. Imagine we both win a Cobalt Drake right now. I'm gonna piss myself. With oh no! <laughs> I got a low bar percent on launch. Oh shit. Well, okay, so you can see sometimes there's gonna be an aura that's gonna appear on here. N none of this shit matters. Look, first attack, bad. Exactly. Final attack, 
Sometimes they, they get a second attack, but none of it means anything. Look at this. It means Please nothing. let me win a Cobalt Drake. If it's a Please Gold Hellsight, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually I'm gonna die. So this hey, appears. Sometimes they show uh, extreme finish. I got no aura on this. I got nothing. All right, let's see what you got. Okay, hold on. Okay, going I, for the I attack. I, I swear, if I win, if Good. I win Cobalt Drake. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, 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 to... the, I think the button presses, like, don't I matter, think right? Nothing. I think this is all just the thing just to get you addicted to it. Oh, over finish. Okay, let's see. Do you get gold aura? And then you pull another gold hell scythe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my that God, means so nothing. That means a nothing. Goddamn Leon Claw. <laughs> Give me okay, a Leon Claw. See. It's going slow. Dude, I've tried, I've, uh, over a, I've tried over 100 times. I've won one gold hell scythe. I've been getting so many. I, I'm I'm getting so angry with it. Okay, let's see. Nothing. Oh, no, <laughs> it's okay. Nothing. Come on around. <laughs> but your options are. I have to be careful with the audio by accident before, so I don't go too up. So your options are: you either have it where, if if it's an over finish or a spin finish, there's like nothing, some ticket or whatever. I think that doesn't do anything. If you get a burst finish. That is the golds. If you get an extreme finish, that's the main rare one. So originally it was just Hellsythe and Cobalt Drake. Hellsythe was if you burst and you win. Drake, it's if you get an extreme. So, you know, like conceptually kind of makes sense, but what kind of gets frustrating, it's just, you know, like for an example, I and if someone has examples of other gacha games, they can maybe talk on this. But like for Dokkan Battle, like if if certain characters appear, you're more likely to pull something. Or in Dragon Ball Legends, a, a unique animation will play. M my issue with this is that it's so half-assed. There's no effort. It's not like they changed it. Like maybe if X Kurosu appears right at the start, you're more likely to get an extreme. If Kazami Bird appears, maybe you're more like the I don't know, like something. Yeah, it would be it would be nice if like the more you rolled, maybe the higher the chance went. Cause like you could literally buy every product and scan every code. And like literally nothing. everything, yeah, get nothing. You could you could have spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars and just not pull anything. So like I said, I've I've rolled over a hundred times, no cobalt drake. I won one gold hell site. Uh so that's that's rough because that's a lot of money invested. I, yeah. I feel I feel like it should get progressively easier. But you know And something else I wanted to mention was like a lot of people want the battle pass localized and I just have to ask why. <laughs> Why do you want to go through this? <laughs> Just ask uh, the, them to release the, it normally. The longer I, I, I go without getting Cobalt Drake, the less I'm like, please, for the love of God, don't bring Rare Baguette over here. Just give me Cobalt Drake in a in a blister pack on a store shelf because, like, <laughs> my luck is awful. Yeah. I don't want... That's the thing I, I don't get. I can understand maybe at the start and... and <sighs> Because people are upset, like, oh, th there's this new gold rare bay that we can't get here in the West. But, like, the app is meant for people in Japan playing. It's not meant for people in NA. And then after, I, I can maybe understand, maybe that's why they want the battle pass. But I don't I don't want the app localized. The app, even the the battle feature is terrible. It's, it's bad. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not. It's, it's a crappy it's simulation. Not, I don't even know that it's really, like... I don't. I don't think there's any actual real physics going on there because, like, I, I've I've played that a few a good handful of times, and it's just like super inconsistent. I, mm. I really feel like it's just straight up RNG. Um, but again, but I mean, that's what you get when you have a game that like you can't yeah. tilt it. Like, there's mm -hmm. really no input aside from pulling the ripcord. So yeah, I mean, I don't. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't really defend it. I think it's, I think for what it's supposed to do in Japan, I think it does fine. Yeah. But like, even the gold stuff, like if you win them, you still have to buy them. Like you just yeah. get a code to be able to purchase it. So it's like, it's not even, 
you're just winning the option to be able to purchase it outside of Cobalt because yeah. Cobalt's free, right? I think Cobalt is free and probably for your future. Maybe because it's just harder to pull. I don't know. I mean, if they're trying to get like a return on investment or something just for the gold ones. Speaking of which, uh, no, yeah, before we get to like the general direction of the this stuff, so the hell side thing is really funny because if people have been paying attention, there have been batches of these gold hell sites that have been made, and I got the shit end of the stick because the batch I'm getting is in the summer. Yeah, yeah. So I got one right before they switched it, but I got another one that's going to mm. be in the summer. So I'm going to just and be I getting random gold hell size. I think it's probably because so much demand for it. And I've talked to a lot of people, and like a lot of people apparently have like five, ten, six, seven codes or whatever of just gold hell size they don't want. Yeah, they're probably also like trying to do them in smaller batches because i know towards the end of burst there was a lot of like they were doing like promos at the end of burst to get amaterios like the rare yeah, baguette yeah. color so i i feel it. like yeah they just i'm sure they had just like tons and tons of them that they overproduced or whatever so maybe they're just trying to like dial in the amount that they're making i'm not mm. sure though it could be that people are just you know winning way more than i am uh but yeah you know <laughs> yeah i i okay so i'm trying to say okay so the next thing i want to talk about was going to be related to how they incorporate this into the actual series because cobalt drake is the main extreme finish prize beyblade and it is used by chrome in the manga which i did expect because i thought in burst they never appear. Uh, Materials appears in the anime, I think, but not really like yeah. any significance. So what was really surprising was they brought it with a character. Not yeah. only that, painted. Heaviest blade before... Uh, Phoenix Wings is more or less the same. So heaviest blade. So the marketing here, it's like, this is this guy is a future antagonist. He's going to have this Beyblade. It's heavy. It's painted. Go to the rare bay. Even the... This is similar to marketing that I think they're doing. And I'll get your thoughts in a second. Like Phoenix Wing. Relevant Blader. Leader of the team. Yggdrasil. Heavy Blade. Painted. There's a trend with this. Yeah. So... Um... Yeah, I think Amaterios does show up in Burst, but I think it only it's only in the uh, like the Beyblade Museum or whatever. So yeah, I I do, I do think yeah I think I do think this is the first time that there's a rare baguette prize that's like a significant character that's going to be yeah. in the anime or whatever, which is weird. Um, my assumption is that like as soon as it comes out of the shop, they're gonna they're gonna drop another a variant of it. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe they just changed the chip. So like the uh, the entry set drawn sword or whatever, it still had the blue center, but it was like clear blue. They might just do something like that, where it's like literally yeah. just the same thing with a slight recolor on one of the, the parts, like the plastic or something, um, which is going to be hilarious for the people that are spending like $300 on these. But <laughs> <laughs> um, uh I hope I hope that's what they do because like I've seen pictures of people who have like photoshopped them to be silver. I don't really like it silver to be honest. Yeah, uh, I don't I don't know. I was gonna say um, most likely we'll maybe see maybe by the end of usually they do like a year difference from that rare bay or whatever, and then after like we'll maybe see if they do a video game, which I I don't know. I, I think it was like Fu Ryu. I think did the burst one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, yeah, I don't do. know if they do an X game at all, but it's either that or they'll find some annoying way to release it. They could do maybe a random booster where it's kind of a filler, but the prize is the old rare big get battle. I'd be okay. I wouldn't really care. Yeah. Well, if Persona matches up with Pendragon at the end of season one, I I could see them doing it 
like mm. fall maybe yeah um just to make it accessible because it'll be relevant at that point um yeah yeah i mean I, I would much rather see it sooner than later but yeah we'll see i i would i wouldn't mind if it was a video game pack in either i'd probably i'd definitely buy that if they did like a switch game or something but yeah um yeah regardless uh, hopefully they it's accessible an accessible release i don't want it to stay locked or you know get oh, a yeah, of course a, yeah or get a color variation that like just looks Bash. way worse yeah and we've gotten uh, Burst always doing that. I think I think maybe it was like Ori Calcum or something, but then there was like that weird variant of Ori Calcum or whatever. But uh, yeah. the general trend I've noticed, kind of the direction and what I'm assuming is going to be the future for rare base stuff, it's that anyone who's the main extreme finish main bait, that's going to belong to some important team or person. And it makes the most sense. Like, it, that's good marketing there. You want to get Chrome, who's like, I mean, yeah, strong at an X or at the top of the tower. There you go. And in general, they've been selective because it's not just the rare base stuff. Phoenix Wing, same marketing almost. So it almost makes me feel like for maybe like the team leaders, it's, you know, I guess, except for King. <laughs> They're always going to be oh, yeah. at the top or something. Or there'll be something where it's like a super heavy painted release, which... I, I think it's kind of of interesting where it's like it's the novelty of the paint, it's the weight, it's like it, it kind of feels like it's like a boss release, almost like literal. Yeah, well, actually, now that you say that, like I remember them saying like towards the beginning, a lot of the like some of the inspiration for like the aesthetic was like RPGs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like maybe that is carrying through with like how they're sort of structuring some of the team stuff. Cause you're right. It does kind of feel like a boss. Um, yeah. Like, like as I, I wonder if they're going to continue to do that with other like prominent, like boss fake. Cause like King isn't really, he's not really a boss. Like that team is not, wasn't hyped up to the same degree. I don't feel like. Right. Um, but yeah, it would be interesting if they, if they keep that trend of like heavier, Beyblades or painted Beyblades or like you know mm -hmm. more hyped releases for like you know particular um, strong characters or whatever because it's more memorable. But yeah, it's just only shift now. So the direction they've done so far for the rare bay: Cobalt, Hellscythe, Leon yeah. Claw. Now with the three of them, then after Hellscythe is going to be gone, and then it's just going to be Drake and Leon Claw. So. We're kind of seeing that they're kind of rotating out like the burst finish one. They'll keep the extreme finish for a bit until like the new selection, but you got like the rotational filler, kind of like a, like a different banner when you summon on something. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of I, I kind of like it. I like the way they're they've structured it so far. I'd like it more if I could win it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we all. So, we know that there's going to be a black Hell's Chain with, like, the green and all that stuff. That's already done for me. And because yeah. we already know that Leon Claw replaces the Hell's Scythe, we can know that Leon Claw will probably be up until before May. Or maybe what they'll do is that, which is cringe, but they'll do it where they'll be... The two main ones, a third new one that's going to stay with those ones, and then after slowly they get rid of the previous one, and they start cycling it out slowly, slowly, slowly. So probably you'll see like Black Hell's Chain, something new, Gold Leon Claw, a week later, however long this campaign is, where Hellsight lasted, two weeks, whatever. Then it's just the Hell's Chain in the thing, which is a bit... I don't, I don't like the three staying. I prefer to just cycle it out. The reason why is because... It's bullshit. They're just doing that. So you get rid of all the excess ones of the Hell Scythe and you move on to the next one. That's what they did for Leon Claw. So that's one where it's going to get a little bit annoying, especially if you're trying to pull like the main extreme finish one and you have like the bullshit rando you don't want. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I think uh, um, until they cycle it out, I'm probably not going to try to roll for anything else just because like the chances get lower, the more you throw into the mix. Right. So 
In terms of what are you thinking, because May, it's May, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So the rare bay is probably going to be something UX related. And I, I tried to think like, could it be potentially Cobalt Drake variant, kind of like Drawn Dagger or a new team? And it's kind of difficult because right now we don't know where the story is going. We've yeah. maybe seen in the anime some flashbacks of like Pendragon with, with X, but we don't. Could it maybe be Chrome? Could it be maybe the girl we haven't seen yet? You know, it's it's very tricky. Yeah, I, I, man, it it could go either way. It could be like new like persona variants it could be pen dragon variants it could be a whole new team um the the teaser for the image like that they showed or whatever a lot of people are thinking it's like a dagger evo but i feel like that's kind of quick i mean i'm trying to think of like the pacing for releases for like main characters and oh, like we just one? got for the for releases for like main characters like oh right. how far apart was like like storm pegasus was like all of season one right yeah Yo, you so about, mm -hmm. and then burst same same thing um this is but i mean x is doing everything weird like you know multi's got a whole case full of beyblades uh you know cross has two now same with Bird, so who knows? There's uh, like I feel like every time I try to predict, it ends up wrong just because they keep subverting my expectations. Yeah, because now they're gonna in UX, it's gonna be another drawn, another wizard, another hell. And I'm just trying to yeah. think. It's like, okay, these guys are gonna have like Bird's gonna have three, Common X is gonna have three, and then after Multi's gonna have five hundred. No, I'm just there's, <laughs> there's shield lance. That's the shield variant. Yeah. Oh, she had like four bays now. Yeah, I mean maybe mm. maybe UX is her wizard variant. Probably. I don't know. But yeah, that's but why UX I, UX isn't replacing the regular BX stuff, right? Uh, it is. Okay, so it's so so we're moving away from like the BX releases. Everything's going to be coded as UX after. Well, it gets really stupid because there are things that are still called BX, but everything is supposed to be UX. How they, I don't know. It's so something I maybe thought of. I think potentially because the manga teases of this, where where Burn is basically saying, "I'll see you at the next Bay time shift." I thought maybe the May one. They want it to be trolling. Could be. A new phoenix that's locked as a rare bay and it's the fastest one for ux and it's locked like that and it releases the summer for when people get it or something which would yeah. line up with cobalt drake that would that would make sense because like you know they they really i feel like built up burn and the phoenix release got two phoenix releases and the whole chapter and everything that they really hyped the character up for them to just be like for him to just lose and then just and just disappear would be strange so maybe that's the case maybe they maybe he gets another phoenix and then maybe persona comes back with their own ux variants mm -hmm. to try to compete um i i think I, I just thought the Phoenix thing it, it just made the most amount of sense. So let's go over to the next topic for the rare base stuff. So, so far, because we, we it's only the Drake. Drake does reuse parts. When Amaterio was released, it was a completely new disc and bottom. Drake, it's reused for like everything. So how would we feel if they released, let's say, whatever the new bay is, but for that rare bay, all the rare parts are new for it. So like, let's say it's like Phoenix, Phoenix, uh, uh, Volcano, no, Phoenix Ash, no, no. So I, wait, I can think of something, Magma. May I, there you go. <laughs> I'm stuck, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so 
The only issue with that is if the parts are good. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly because, what I'm suggesting because, you know, even yeah, Metal because, Gear Drift wasn't like meta changing whatever, it was still like, damn. Yeah, well, I mean, especially like right now, like Cobalt, I mean, Cobalt's heavy. It's like, uh, you know, the second heaviest or, or as heavy or whatever is Phoenix. And Phoenix is kind of a kind of a big deal, I feel like, right now in terms of weight. So if they release something new and all of the parts are new and it has parts on it that are really good, I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Because it's just like the prices are going to skyrocket. It's going to yeah. isolate. I mean, obviously, like they can ban it or whatever, I guess. But like, I don't really want that either. I think it would just depend. Well, obviously, you know, testing whatever. Because like Drake. Well, I mean, Drake was kind of. I feel like Drake before Rush, before like you know, all all these new parts, whatever, was kind of just like. Wasn't that special? I even yeah. in Japan stuff, Drake doesn't get used too much. In Japan, you would, you would think it would get used quite a bit, but you maybe saw initially maybe some stuff, but it's not, it's not like got that much heavy play because I think, I believe Drake is technically worse than Hellscythe in general matchups. And even Phoenix Wing. Phoenix Wing is pretty annoying, but there's like there's things to counteract it, but... <sighs> I don't know if I want them to recycle or for new content. The only issue is that if they do new content, because I was just double checking with Burst, I don't think the parts have a good track record for when they did like an actual release of all this stuff separately. Like, I mean, I'm trying to see like it's. It's more or less the same thing where it's like maybe like a, a year later. So what happens yeah. if let's say we get, I don't know, 10, 1060, 1050, 950. 950 is like the best thing. And that's like the 50th. Uh, it's like the 50 hype for like a long time. And this new fast bit better than gear flat as just as good as, you know, like some crazy good attack tip. You know, that's when it's going to get very tricky for how you judge it. Because, yeah. you know, at that point, it's not even pay. It's not even pay to win it. I mean, I guess technically, if you get on, you know, if you want to spend the money, but like, it's like, even if you wanted to buy it officially, like you can't. You're just stuck with the RNG, and the rates are so bad that if you don't win it, the only option is to spend. Like Drake's, like what two hundred dollars? Yeah, or it, less. it was. It 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 may have dropped some, but it's. I think it's still, you know not super far under 200 i think it was maybe 150 or something yeah. so not yeah i mean i like new parts i like the exclusivity but at the same time if they're going to do it that way like then i feel like it should be a little more balanced because if you're buying every product and you still can't win right. it you don't gain points that fast through the battle pass i mean yeah may, maybe like what a uh, hundred points a day or something um, or a couple hundred points a day if you're like really grinding, but uh, like over the course of a week, that's like a couple tries. And if you, you know, I've tried a hundred plus times and I haven't gotten cobalt. So, mm -hmm. so I think the real issue we're finding, it's not necessarily, you know, meta because I don't think there's ever been a rare bay that's ever been released since birth. That's been like, this needs a ban. So even yeah. then, I I suspect even if let's say we get something maybe better than wing, maybe faster, whatever, I, I I'm not sure. It'd probably be a case by case basis. I I think the issue is just the method of release is is a little bit annoying because there's not that many options. Because we usually have to wait. If it was something like, I don't know, maybe like a shorter period, maybe not like. You have to wait six months, maybe like, I don't know, three months or something. Or I don't know, yeah. just fix the rates, man. I, th I Honestly, I think the race is just the rates. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, I mean, aside from that, so since we pretty much kind of covered kind of the rare bay aspect, I thought since we have one, 
two, three. We have three weeks until we find out what UX is. So what we could do now, because the other weeks we'll probably have some other topics we can try to do. What are your thoughts so far on the UX for what we have, which is the breadcrumbs that they have left us? <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, we've got the image, and then we've got some some word vomit marketing text or whatever. But uh, so the image looks really interesting. There's, I mean, it's got a really weird shape, really interesting shape. The whole plastic inlay thing and the tabs for the like the launcher prongs are all plastic now. Um, I just, I mean, in terms of like like sort of what we know visually, that's really about it. Yeah. And uh, I, it looks cool. Like the promo pick looks cool for sure. I'm expecting something is going to change in terms of the system because they wouldn't completely rebrand it. Like they wouldn't call it Ultra X or whatever, or whatever it's going to be called. They wouldn't without change the whole significant. Yeah. With the coding and stuff without changing something. So I'm expecting some sort of, I don't know if, whether it's going to be a new part or a new separation or some new gimmick or something, but I expect something's going to change. So I don't know that they would change the, the, the prongs. Yeah. The, those launcher prongs to plastic for seemingly no, no reason. reason. Yeah. I am so perplexed by it just because it's like, oh. There's a, I assume the reason why the prongs were metal was because of the fact to avoid, um, I don't know, maybe like breakage or something. So like the plastic top doesn't get hit. So the only thing yeah. I'm scared of, what happens if a bay mid-air thing goes up, you know, X can do that. That's the only thing I'm scared of. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that too, especially with like, there's definitely some combos that people hard tilt, like uh, like a very aggressive tilt. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you're kind of safe with that, with the, with the metal prongs. But if you go to plastic, especially with them protruding, like I wonder if those are just going to shear right off. Right. Um, so maybe it's that with... UX, you're just not going to be able to be that aggressive in terms of how you tilt them or whatever. But I, I'm trying to think what exactly could you do for UX because this is essentially going to be what's going to be leading on for the rest of the year. If they switch again to something else, that's going to be a very bad move. Well, I don't know. It depends what the system is. Whatever. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just like maybe it's just like single to dual layer, small difference, whatever. But yeah. I think maybe it could be something where it's maybe like the base perfected in that aspect, kind of like what the marketing was for BU, whereas like this is the ultimate for attack, ultimate stamina, whatever. Maybe this one, which this basically looks like drawn variant because Common X is right next to him. It's the Persona prongs drawn. Yeah. You know, maybe this could be something where it's like, maybe it's, I don't know. Because what was Drone Dagger marketed with for Extreme Dash, right? Yeah, yeah, like, you know, yeah, just Extreme Dash, like you can do it over and over or whatever. Like that was like the big thing. Um, but it's like... If the gimmick is as simple as that, like, would they really, like, change the whole marketing for it? Maybe it's, like, the best. Like, it's the best extreme dash hit or something or the the fastest explosive hit. And that's, like, the drawing yeah. thing. But then after, it's, like, you know, what could you do for hell? Yeah, true. That's going to be where and it's going to get tricky. And, like, I mean, Wizard... You, you make it like a bigger circle. That's it. Yeah. What do you think about um, like weight creep? Mm. Well, X is not sustainable if they do that. They literally cannot. 
It's not like we started on the drones or S way to like 28 or something. Yeah. We are already at 40 and even at 40, it's pretty hard to launch them to make them go normal to other stuff because the heavier you are, the more power you need to use the stadium. So they did try to get around that with like Phoenix Wing on Gear Flat because Gear Flat moves super fast. But I I think if they're going to do it, which also circle back to the rare base stuff, I think this will only maybe be team stuff. But I don't think the weight should be increasing that much, if at all. Yeah, um, I... I, I agree. I think even even like Phoenix Wing might be pushing it a little bit personally. Mm -hmm. Like maybe just a gram or two too far. Cause like if they start if they start pushing out releases that are all towards that weight, um, then you're looking at like some of the earlier releases that now are like maybe a little sketchier to use. Um yeah. Not to say that there's stuff that can't beat Phoenix Wing, but a lot of this, a lot of stuff is it's a little harder. It's a, it's a little closer, you know. Um, yeah, I just I don't want it. I, I really don't want it to creep much at all. Or if they're going to creep it, I want it to be parts that are interchangeable. So like maybe the ratchet's heavier. They incorporate metal with the right. ratchet or the bit. Mm -hmm. So, I. I think even the manga, funny enough, does address this idea that Phoenix Wing is really heavy. So there's some advantage to the common. And something I've noticed actually with the X manga in particular, it's the writing acknowledging this. Like this bay is heavy, but there's a weakness to that. So I don't think they'll increase it because they, they already have an understanding of how it is. And with X, yeah. I think the right way to go, because right now the direction of this season is this idea of speed, flat, okay, low flats, faster, okay, giga, uh, giga, sorry, gear flat is faster, okay, you can maybe go even faster, you can even go fast, but eventually you cap at a speed, right? You can't yeah. go use the, the speed force or some shit to like launch your bay <laughs> and it goes like back in time or something to win your match. Yeah, I mean, at a certain point, it's just too much. I think gear flats even like kind of, I like gear flat as like kind of like a gimmicky part, but I think maybe it might be actually a little too much. Like I'd much rather use rush over gear flat um, right. or even just flat. So I like- I think they'll probably focus on this bay time shift thing next season drop it and i think they should do that because you know there's nothing else yeah 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 so if let's say ux could maybe focus on maybe speed i'm, I'm still trying to think Is, i'm I don't know if you can customize the blade, and I've said this, but if they're doing plastic pro, it's gotta be something where you can customize it. But even then, it's like, I don't, I, I don't know, because I haven't seen anything. Because the construction of the stuff, it's not like it's a metal flight. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I'm dyslexic. It's, god, metal well, flight, it, clear wheel. Yeah, the blade, because it, it like sets into like the plastic sets into the blade um, from the bottom and then it's it literally like riveted in. So and the blades are, are fairly hot. I'm sure they could work it out if they wanted to. But I feel like then you run the risk of like a secondary part that's like now taking the brunt of like mm. all of that force. Because right now those rivets are what's holding everything together. Yeah. You, you take the rivets out and you have something else that's holding them together. Oh, yeah. Well, then, Like some sort of tab or something. Then that's going to be like the break point, I feel like. Something I thought, could it be that they remove that metal weighting to make the base faster? They could. Well, actually... Yeah, actually, they could be focusing 
like diverting that metal from those prongs to like the outside of the blade. Or even um, maybe the bottom part makes up more of the weight. Maybe yeah. UX could be a thing where there may be maybe kind of near the same ballpark, maybe slightly lighter, but maybe there's like, well, this has these unique shapes. So maybe that can maybe be something because also because there's no metal in the center, the center of gravity is obviously going to be different because the metal is going to not make that weird kind of. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. I could see them doing something like that. That would, that makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. Yeah. So from that, we've got... Now, they've given us nothing at all. Uh, okay, well, let me see if we have anything else. Uh, there's the shark, but I don't know if the shark's worth talking about or not. The the leaked shark. I don't know if I have the my video where I covered it. I'm going to go find it. There was one thing which we can kind of focus on then. So this will probably be focused rare, Bane will cover the other stuff, but there was a leaked shark because a seller could not uh, think about who he sent to, but this is Photoshop, but this is essentially what the shark is. It either has a 560 or a 580 or whatever, but it, a gear flat. So could it maybe be Maybe the f it could the shark maybe be for the future like they take a black hell's chain and the shark is there. Could this be a mail order? Could this be you know? I I'm just trying to think here because we have the persona, the team persona hell scythe, whatever it's called, special yeah. X cross thing, and we're seeing it in the manga, in the cover thing. And I think there is some Coracore advertisement that's saying something like to see it in the story. But I, that might just be a reference to that one page or whatever. But yeah, I think if they're going to kind of push on X being kind of like there's the main bay, but maybe there's this other stuff. Maybe this could be a thing. I feel this might be, we might see maybe promotional or filler or something, because I'm pretty sure this track is supposed to be like common X colors or whatever for like the color scheme of, but I, I, I don't know. What do you think of this bay? What do you think the origin could be, you know, of the shark? What's the direction, mail order? What do you think? Like hell side, you know, that stuff. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm thinking probably some sort of promotional, core core promotional or something, mail in or pack in or something. Um, Pain. Yeah, so that would be my assumption. Aren't we? Didn't they say? Um, wasn't there something about Cora Cora doing some other Beyblade promo like in a few months or something? Probably. Um, I mean, they've so, done stuff like there's been like lotteries for like the Bay's releases before, where it's like you get it free or whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe Koro Koro, but I could be wrong about that. Um, in terms yeah. of backstory, it's definitely like common X colors, the blue and the red and stuff. Maybe this is like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I was going to say maybe Maiden. Maybe this is like backstory Maiden Shark Edge or something. Because we're starting to see some of that in the anime with, uh, mm. what's his name? Uh, the guy that uses Wyvern or whatever. Oh, the boss. Oh, yeah, this could be maybe like a boss filler or something. Or I thought maybe, because I think something I like is when they incorporate in the story, and they have done this in, in Burst also in the in the manga, at least with Count Knights, where he stole like the rare base or whatever. But they can maybe do something where maybe this is after the Yggdrasil team battle, and maybe this is like training for UX or something. Maybe in order to get used to Dagger... He has to battle something that's like this fierce, I don't know, it's something like that. Yeah, I could see that. I could see them doing something like that. Or maybe uh, Common X is like training with a different Beyblade or something. Like I could mm -hmm. see that too. I mean, we've seen multiple characters use different Beyblades that are not their own now. So, uh, or not their designated Beyblade. Like Maiden has used Leon Claw, right? Beyblade. Yeah. <laughs> well... Yeah, I mean, they could. Who knows, man? I every every time I make a prediction, it's wrong. Like, well, everything X does, I'm like, oh yeah, it'll predictions. 
<laughs> yeah, everything X does, I'm like, oh, it'll probably be this. And then it turns out something completely different. Listen, um, we got to say 50 things, throw it at a wall. If one of them's right. They'd be like, oh, I said it brag. first. <laughs> I said it first. See, I was right. So wh what do you think, by the way, of the special hell sites? And I I'm still wondering if they do this as a chapter promotion or even maybe a Ruby anime. I think it's a cute idea because you basically see multi in common helping Bird kind of make it. And I think it's like yeah. this nice little la friendship. Yeah, it's I, actually it's one of my favorite looking, I guess, variants at this point. I think it's my favorite chip design. Like the chip on it, I think, is the coolest looking chip that they've done so far. Um, I like the stickers, even though they'll probably fly off. I think they Two look miles. cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll probably, I'll, I'll definitely try to get one. It might be one of those that I just display, depending on how much like the after the secondary market goes, but. I really like it. I, I really like the way it looks. The chip design, like I said, is peak. Mm -hmm. Very cool looking. Do we think that... Do, how would you feel if maybe we could see maybe... I, I feel this could be a good thing because I don't think they've ever done... No, they've never done this where they, they combine the team's characters into like this one theme, new design, whatever. It would be cool to maybe see like a Zuganic one a Yggdrasil one. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like a cool way because the motif design is pretty good looking. Like it's a combination of all of them. Like you have, like, what is it? It's it's the Night Shield, the Hell Scythe, and the Drone Sword. But it looks really like pretty and it, it matches kind of the aesthetic of uh, Posuka's, uh, I, I don't know if I'm butchering her name, I apologize, her design. Yeah, I, I think that would be cool if they did, like, team, like, combined Beyblades or whatever. Even if they, yeah, I mean, I would love that, actually. It just as, like, a, a collector's thing, I think that would be super cool. Um, yeah, I'd be down for that. Because you could do it where, I'm trying to think what they would do. I think it's, like, they pick like the weakest character and then after it's paired up to boost with the other characters, they could do something where, I don't know, maybe like, they didn't too many Viper Tails, maybe like a Rhino Horn. But Rhino's good, at, Rhino's, <laughs> Rhino's good in the manga though. <laughs> oh, I don't want another fight. Okay, fine. Like a Viper Tail, I don't know, 380 point. If they do spike it, no one's gonna buy it. So it's got to be a point or something. You could do now. They like... need to do another another Leon Claw. Oh god. <laughs> what about uh, four eighty like... spike? Oh god, I want to die. <laughs> uh, Seal, Unicorn, Phoenix Ratchet, and then after bit. Oh wait, yeah, they probably would have to do like a gear needle. Ah, oh, actually, no, they could do. Unicorn 980 gear flat. Yeah, yeah, I don't think... Yeah, yeah, I think it would have to be Unicorn. Because we already have, like... Phoenix is already fancy enough. And then Sphinx, I feel like, is pretty elaborate in terms of design. I think uh, it would mm -hmm. have to be Unicorn. Yeah. So I feel like we covered all the relevant stuff. Because right now, there's only the anime stuff. And we have one, two... Three, Valentine's Day. We love Beyblade, amazing. That we're gonna get all the, the updates then. <sighs> I'm wondering though if, and this has sometimes happened where the anime shows new stuff ahead of time. So I'm just wondering if we'll see maybe like, maybe like UX ahead of time or something. Yeah, we we could. They could. I mean, I feel like every anime at some point does some sort of exclusive. It starts, you know, just because it's more content faster. So Shark could be anime exclusive. Like we made like the the variant or whatever. The, yeah. Some of the UX stuff we could see earlier. Because like when you think about like timeline wise, we really only have like what another chapter or something before UX or two chapters. Um. Well, if the next chapter is not focused on the Hell Scythe persona, then the next chapter would have to just be UX. Because that's probably why the last chapter was so rushed for the ending. 
Yeah. Yeah, and like the the last chapter didn't really leave it off in a on a point where you like you really have any idea what's happening in the next chapter either. Like, there's no indication where they're moving uh, in terms of the story for the next chapter. Um, unless they, unless it's going to be like filler chapter, it could be. It could be like the the Hellsythe variant. Are they? Do they have to do the the uh, like a test every floor? Um. Generally how it works, it's in my memory, it's like as they clear through the stuff, there'll maybe be bosses they have to go through. It's not, so it, I'm pretty sure something like, I, I'm just trying to remember the kettle over time. It was something like they beat him and they skipped to like 50. So. Hmm. Maybe, maybe the uh, blue shark is next, uh, next that, test. Maybe that could make sense because multi was a, multi, sorry, Mako. They both start with M. Yeah was you know what, 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 maybe some maybe she's like a floor boss no probably just someone else who owns it or something or maybe it's something like this is the perfected model of all these bladers that i've seen or something yeah th th that could be maybe some incorporation but yeah we got nothing i don't know is there anything else that we wanted to talk about that we did not for any x stuff um I, I I don't think so. Um, I think that's about it. We don't. We really don't have that much information until until next chapter. Right. Um. I guess you. I guess there's like Sphinx predictions. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, well. No. Was it? Oh, no. I just lost it. I just had it. <laughs> I just had it in my head. Oh God. Um, oh, it was going to be for the manga. I'm trying to think, how many chapters are we going to have more of the, the manga? Because this usually goes for like about, I think it goes until like, when did the manga start? Uh, October? Wait, when I think, the... No, that was the, that was the when we got the volume. Yeah, and the, the first full volume is October. Okay, let me double check something. I'm just trying to see how, how much how much time the manga actually has. I'm trying to see what month did we start. I thought there was the teaser. Okay, it was is that seven wait, seven months ago. God damn, oh my god. It was in June. Well no, the anime has to go until October, so I think the anime should end in October. For season one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to go on that. So let, let me double check. Okay, we're in January, February, March, April, May. Okay, let's see. June. You know, why don't I just search how many months until October? Sorry, I don't know why I didn't just do that. Okay. There are 250. Okay, so we're, we're going to do the math on this. Listen, uh, it's been a very long day. <laughs> I feel you. Okay. <laughs> okay. About eight months or whatever. Okay, let's just say about eight chapters. I don't know what's the direction we can really go right now. Because it's one chapter per month. Yeah. So, UX. And then after... I think that's why for Yggdrasil, Seal, you see the whole team. At the, uh, I don't know, like, what can you do in in that space? Because I mean, they Yggdrasil, can Seal. They can introduce like maybe a few more teams, and that's I, about it. I think my guess: one more team, then it's Pendragon, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, so what What month is it? January, we got February, March, April, May, June, July, August, October. I mean, that's eight chapters. Mm. I mean, they could, do, they could do they could do a couple teams. teams. More. Yeah, I mean, two, three, if four. they keep if they keep the pacing how it's been, where it's just like jumping from team to team, mm, but you're right. 
they they could keep that up but i would hope that they slow it the pacing down a little bit there's only so much you can ask for when it comes to koro koro because it's monthly so they have yeah, to stuff a lot in there yeah. yeah um but yeah i would ex- i would expect at least at least two more teams before pen dragon because they're on floor 50 okay. right now that they're about to get bumped I, f- I feel like it would... Be- I mean, I know the anime is probably going to introduce other... S- other- well, no. Uh, the anime, anime would have to... introduce more. They'd have filler. to be like... They'd have to be like filler teams, though. Well, technically... Okay, well, the anime is really weird because the anime is following the manga. So technically, in the anime, it's not filler, but it is filler. Well, I mean, like, like filler teams in that, like, are they going to have their own releases? Because the releases so far have been following the manga. Right. Yeah, that's where it's going to get really weird. <sighs> so you're saying maybe two to three teams. I think, because probably, at least Phoenix will probably change for sure. So probably what's going to happen, maybe two teams... Update for Yggdrasil. Do you think that he axes them and Yggdrasil is another two new members? Mm. He just ditches them. Surely them not. If, if they were, surely they wouldn't release their Beyblades. They would have just given them some lame recolors or something. That would be really funny if he leaves them. If, if like, that's the last time we ever see them. Like, here, buy these Beyblades. All right. Never see them again. Um, <laughs> or they show up on a different team. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's so, the pacing's just hard to, like, I'm trying to think of, like, the, the, the Bakuten shoot manga and stuff. Like, everything got so, like, went so far off the rails in terms of, like, the anime storyline and the manga storyline. Like, right. X is doing things a lot different where it's, like, The anime has filler, but it's still following the general plot of X. So, like, they have to introduce more teams. Otherwise, it'll feel like Persona fought, like, three teams and then got to the top of the tower. Yeah. Um, So I'll say two, three teams. Use your seal, maybe revamp, Pendragon, finish. I would love it, and I know they won't do this. If they do this base, I would love it if instead of it being like, okay, it's Persona, you just see a rematch, Pendragon. I want it to be Pendragon versus Yggdrasil to demonstrate how good these guys are. Because that, because we've seen nothing. I don't want it to be something like, oh, they're strong. Find out. Eight chapters from now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, one other thing, like, where do you want Bird's win at? Because a lot of people are saying he's probably at this rate, he's probably not going to win till like the last floor, which I really don't want. I think that's I don't know. It depends how they handle it. And I, I mentioned this on the manga review because people misconstrue what I say. Shout out Twitter. Well, my point <laughs> was this. That in chapter one and three, right, Bird's loss is handled with dignity. Chapter four and onwards, minus cat over, it's more of a joke. They're taking a piss. You know, whether it's the art style, the comedy, whatever, there's clearly a tonal shift from the first chapter, how they handle a loss, even Multi's chapter, to like, then. And I really hate it if it's going to be the same thing where Bird is going to be on the floor, going to be... And you got the stupid Hell's Chain chibi (laughs) avatar next to him. (laughs) This is not a serious tone for it. And I never understand why people can't accept it's a gag. It's visual comedy. That's part of Bird. I don't want it to happen. Yeah, 100%. I just don't want... Really be annoying. It's the anime, because the anime is filling in. So all this bullshit that they introduced, like this new episode, I already can tell. But, well, actually, no, because he's it, already bad in common X in the episode. So Bird's going to lose because they released the teaser. It's going to be Hell's Chain versus Sphinx. 
We already know that's gonna go. And then after it's Common X versus the Sphinx guy, the, the Zunav, whatever, Neko. Gee, this guy's got the longest name possible and I cannot say his name. Yeah, I, I just, I don't want his first win to be against Team Pendragon. That would feel so dumb to me. Um, it would no, not make but, any sense. It, Beyblade X, man, it's about the journey. And look, I've seen shows where the characters have only won 3,000 episodes later. It's good writing. It's peak. It's, it's, it's peak. Listen, there's something to be said about a character going from bad to good, but it's another thing to say a character goes from bad to top 1% of the top 1% of pros. Never winning and then winning against the best possible players. It makes yeah, they zero sense. Really show them develop. I mean, like the anime, you know, is kind of getting in there. I really yeah. disagree that it has to be something really big. I think it would have made so much sense to me, especially on this chapter, and hope the anime changes this, that he contributes, even if he loses, he contributes to an actual win. Because I'm not going to count him copying Common X, which is doing nothing for his actual character, which the anime, already a conflict. Because if the anime copies this uh, for a plot point, it's going to make no sense and contradict it where it's like, hey, don't copy Common X, be yourself. Oh, that's good, okay. I don't... He's not... There's eight chapters, right? So they have eight chapters to do this. And I think people are kind of highballing this idea that somehow they're going to do all the promotional stuff of all this stuff, the next team, the next team, the next team, and then after somehow manage to maybe push bird. They they have to find some way, but I don't think it's gonna be some if they manage to really push maybe this next chapter's bird focus or something, that'd be nice. But it's like that's why I like the anime more. Like the anime, like before the kid over test and the final thing, he goes through the training, whatever, you know, he practices. Even the even the 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 bay exercise one, he's like doing like strength training, so it's like yeah. It's getting more believable at least. Yeah. Yeah, I do like the the training that they're doing in the anime. It's just like if if he's doing all the training in the anime and then he still continues to lose, it's still going to be I feel like just as frustrating. They got to give him a win somewhere. Even if it's like somebody outside the tower. He's got to win somewhere. Otherwise it just feels like this frustratingly long process of him like making marginal like progress without any real success. Uh, uh. Yeah. And I think we can end off with the uh, Alan Sphinx because probably the, the other few weeks I've already written other stuff, so we can just get rid of it now because Sphinx is anyways is going to be in less than a month. Okay, um, interesting topic. To, if someone wants to do timestamps, because I sure as hell am not going to do it. <laughs> I don't got time. What do you think of random select? Because we've gotten Viper Tail, we've gotten Sphinx. Sphinx, the rates are not confirmed. Viper Tail has been a flat rate, which has been like that, I think, like in Metal Fight, they had flat rates. And Burst, it's, I don't know when, but I know Burst changed uh, the rates. Um, so, I like recolors. Recolors are cool. But those recolors could get put in a, just a regular random booster. I think it's just a cash grab. I That's agree. what it feels. It just feels like a, like a cash grab because those, like, they do filler for every random booster. They could easily put Sphinx, the Sphinx recolors in a random booster. This is just a way to capitalize on trying to make money off yeah. of another release. I, I would have preferred if this was literally just because my dad's guess made more sense than what they actually did. We thought, oh. Maybe it's three, four bays, and it's just like, instead of it being six, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And it could have been like, we were talking about the random select, and I said, yeah, Maria's TT Ninja, she got us before and sniped us when the thing went out. Uh, yeah. It would have been nice if it was just two other bays. They could have thrown in like a remake in there or something if they wanted to, because it's kind of just... Even conceptually, like, you can look at it one way. It's like, oh, well, I get all the prize blade recolors. I think it may be the random selects would have been fine if it was like the other pulls can make the prize stock combo. The issue is that 
every time now it's been it's where you have to only pull the prize and it's not like like sphinx is not like a, there's a recolor of 980 there's a recolor of gear needle i would have liked that instead of it just being like you know how they kind of did it because even the sphinx b lane because you would have the option of getting two of the prize bits reprinted. Sphinx has Orb and High Taper. I mean, I guess for this one, I guess that's a little better because you're, you're getting Orb. I was going to say, like, the annoying thing is that if the prize comes with a new part and you want additional ones, you're stuck playing RNG with only three variants of the same Beyblade, which is mm -hmm. a super annoying. Um, I guess this one, I guess, uh, I mean, it comes with orbs, so I guess that's kind of cool. But I would still rather them have just released it as a booster and then maybe release those in a, an actual random booster. Like, because getting the three of the same Beyblades at once is, like, not that exciting. Yeah. Something else I thought was kind of funny. So in the recent episode, they did have the recolor of Sphinx that appears in the random select in the episode. Yeah. But my issue, while I do like they did it, they recolored it, it's still kind of half-ass kind of. It's not a different combo. And I really would have liked it if it was the literal random select combo yeah, because like the recolored the recolored parts aren't are not the stock parts for the prize either. So like even if you wanted to make that combo, let's let's say a filler character ends up with that recolor or whatever, it still doesn't come with the correct colored parts. Yeah, it's that's that's one of the things I, I don't understand to, to be honest. I, 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 I don't I don't understand what what is the issue on um, literally just pre existing content that they have make that combo like clearly it's shown they can recolor it i i, I don't know maybe they were only shown like here's the random select blade use it in the show somehow figure it out okay i i, I don't know i don't know <laughs> the anime i don't know i i hope they do maybe more interesting things like that but aside from that we've covered ux rare bay sphinx the shark, the direction of the manga so far. What do we think? Alrighty, I that's there's no more there's no more runtime to waffle. I think I think I think we can finally conclude properly. All right. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, yeah, just plug whatever and then. Yeah, um, you guys haven't subscribed. Feel free to come check out my channel. Do Beyblade X content, Plastic Gen, some Metal Fight occasionally, burst every once in a while if I'm feel like i hate myself um we have shirt <laughs> we have merch as well we got uh, we got mac shirts if you guys want to want a mac shirt um oh it's the the what channel max got like? yeah uh max loves it bro max loves it he's he's not a big fan of bird though i'm not gonna lie <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but uh yeah come check out the channel uh thanks again for having me zanke i appreciate it as always all righty we will see you for next week uh yeah, whatever topics. We will probably, you know, obviously, if you were a viewer watching, feel free to suggest any topics for us to talk about. Uh, otherwise, I do have some pre-written stuff, but we'll try to see. It's going to be kind of hard to try to do something weekly unless there's actually something. And I don't want it to be like, like here it was fine. Because we basically had all the topics, like all the recap stuff and just giving on the recent stuff. So... Yeah, if anyone has any suggestions, whatever, let us know, and that'll be it for now. Alrighty, take care, and bye.